Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cow Radia. Now, when we left off, we had just finished our special features of this particular mod, and a lot of you actually requested a series on it. So here we are. We have returned to the land of Fantasy Cow Radia, and I have, of course, started a new character as the previous one. Well, let's just say he was a little bit too powerful, and we are now back as... Arcane Deathbloom. I attempted to try and find a rather suitable necromancer name, so I thought, yes, that will probably help us out quite a bit there. And I also found a companion almost immediately. I went into Cherise's tavern, and we found Frudak, who I believe is an orc, as you can see there. And he has, well, let's just say a rather brutish demeanor, and he's probably going to be incredibly good at taking down pretty much anyone. I suppose, unless he is taken down before he is able to get to them, of course. So, as you can see here, I have actually gone around a few villages, recruiting some Jro races and some Saranids as well. And also, I must just mention that I am not a Jro this time, I am instead a human. And I believe that is probably going to help us out a little better, as you can see here. I'm a very grumpy old man, I've made myself quite old. And yes, he's going to be very grumpy, especially when he's actually told to take an action and use our necromancy skills. And I think we are going to be creating some zombies. There we are. Ten zombies have been raised to join you. That is wonderful. Now, however, we are at 18% HP, so I suppose we will not be doing too much fighting, but we do have a zombie here and a zombie warrior. So this will be rather interesting to see what happens. And we are about to fight the band of robbers that know where the merchant's brother is. So I thought I would start recording here. Let's go. Okay, so <laughs> I think the only unfortunate thing that I have currently seen with my character at the moment is the fact that he starts with a shield and a polearm. As you know, I am terrible when it comes to thrusting attacks. And where is that guy going? How dare you? You get back here. I thought you would do that. How dare you? I'll stab you in the back at the first chance I get if you desert us. <laughs> yes, we are an evil necromancer. I have to say things like that, of course. Okay, so never mind. We do have a rather nice banner, I must admit. I chose a scorpion this time because, well, scorpions, well, most of them are deadly. And I thought, well, why not? We may as well be most of them. And there we are. I actually had to do nothing at all to win that. I suppose our zombies and shadows did most of the work. And, of course, now the robber will tell us where to go. And we actually find our first nomad armor. Now, I would continue to wear this robe if it had enhanced magic on it. Unfortunately, it does not, so I will be using the nomad armor. However... This does have no leg armor whatsoever. Mm, I think that should be fine. We will go with that. Now, this dagger is actually stealthy. Mm, okay, well, we'll just take that for... Maybe Frudak can wear that. We already have a black hood, which is quite nice. Okay, well, that's fine, I think. So, let's actually just see here. Should we give him something? We could give him this woolen cap. Yes, now he looks much friendlier. <laughs> Okay, and maybe some Nomad Armor as well. And he has a two-handed axe and some javelins. Nothing else here really for him, so that should be fine. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now we have learned where the Kidnapper's Hideout is. It's over here. We will be traveling over here. And we raise one zombie from the remains of our enemies. Oh yes, that is good. And I must just mention also that one of you stated on one of the parts of the special features that Power Throw actually assists in you throwing magic. So what I will be doing is attempting to get some Power Throw and hopefully not messing it up. <laughs> I had to actually recre- oh my! This fellow is actually throwing magic already, but... That's actually very nice. Okay, well, as I was saying, I did actually have to recreate my character, I believe it was three times. Because what I was doing was choosing Elf, because one of you actually requested that I play as an Elf. But the thing with Elves is they are usually rather good with bows, and I was getting 
too many points in the power draw skill. I really did not want to have any power draw whatsoever, and it was a little upsetting to see that I actually had three points in it, and it would be really nice if I could actually get some power throw, but I think I actually had to be a draw to actually get some power throw, but I felt like, well, we may as well play a human and see how we go from there, and then we can actually... Well, I suppose be a grumpy old man, why not? And now I just have to get over here to get some XP, hopefully. Serenade Recruit. Dro Man is doing a good job. And maybe I can... No? Okay, Shadows. Good work, Shadows. Oh, yes. Okay, so with this character, I will be completely spamming Intelligence and attempting to get the best amount of of necromancy and magic power that I can and hopefully that will actually help us out more than anything else although that might not be the best course of action however by all means let me know in the comments what you think of that strategy because as you can see here I do have 12 in intelligence already and 4 in necromancy, magic defense and magic power I have nothing in power throw but 2 in power strike I suppose just for early game that's rather nice, I thought. And we do have two in riding and three in athletics as well, which is great. Four in leadership, two in trade. So I really thought that choosing a human was actually a rather good idea. So yeah, let's just hope it actually works out in the end. I suppose it really doesn't matter, but yes, there we are. We will now head back to Cherise and talk to the merchant himself. And I think I may actually want to just rest for a little bit because I am a little low and we are going to be heading in to thwart the corrupt guards and so forth in just a moment when we speak to the merchant. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that is a dro war party by the looks of things. Let me speak to them. Hello. Oh, yes. Okay, I don't recognize the device on your banner. No doubt another foreigner come to our lands, as if we didn't have so many here already. No, I'm a human. <laughs> okay, oh, he has minus three with us already. How dare you? Okay, do you have any tasks? Ah, okay. Oh, he is the lord of the village of Nad Tele. Okay, persuade them. A fair officer, we have an agreement. Oh, yes. And hopefully that will increase his relation a little bit once we have completed it, of course. We do have 50 days to complete it, so that is fine with me. Now, Nad Tele is right next to us here, so that is great fortune on our part. So now I think it is a good idea to head in. And Frudak is wanting a drink by the looks of things by running into the bar there. And let's actually just take a look. There is the merchant. And there's an additional 200 dinars, which is always welcome. And now... As the merchant explains his folly, we are now going to help him out and lead his men. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'm a little skeptical whether I should go for... Yeah, I think using the pole arm is probably the best. This guy's going to turn into a looter, isn't he? Yes, there he is. Okay, come on, let's take him down. Thank you very much. Good work, Arcane Deathbloom. Oh, yes. Okay, now... I think... We're probably going to have a similar issue, well, technically it's not really an issue, but a similar situation actually occurring here where all of the guards are actually so good that I am barely going to be able to kill any of them, as you can see here by this Saranid Archer absolutely being a beast and stealing my XP. Wonderful. Well, I'm a necromancer. I can do anything with undead people. Which may sound a little weird to him, actually. So let's keep quiet about that, shall we? Yes. Okay, well, never mind. Let's actually just go down here and take out this fellow. Yes, there we are. Thank you very much. And that is actually a bandit. So that gave me more XP than the regular looters. So that's pretty good. And some of my dro men have come in here as well. Okay, I'm glad to see that you're alive. There's no necromancer option here. Oh well, I'm glad to see that you're alive. That will be fine. And that is it. There we are. Very nice indeed. So, what I will be doing now is taking a look and seeing whether we can buy any 
Necromancer Staves. I don't believe they will probably have them here anyway, but it's always nice to check. Just in case? No. That is unfortunate. What about some armor? Now, I do realize that they are incredibly expensive, as was proven in the special feature, of course. And, yeah. Unfortunate. Well, we don't actually have any magic yet anyway, so I really don't see the reason for me to worry too much about it, but it's always nice to have it in reserve, just in case we do find a spell, which we have. Now, Scroll of Lightning Bolt is actually something I really want to go for. And also Scroll of Fireball as well, why not? Now, a spell book would be rather nice to gain in some time. Of course, I don't have enough money just yet, but I might actually after that quest that we just received from that vassal. And I just hope I remember his name. <laughs> if I don't remember his name, then we are never going to find him. I just hope that it is actually mentioned in the actual quest log itself. The Bleeding Throat Clan appears to have some problems, but I will be waiting until we have enough HP to use our necromancy once again. So let us use it, and we will create skeletons this time. Ten skeletons. Oh yes. And now how much HP do we have? 18%. It seems to take us down to 18% each time. So what I will be doing is waiting here for some time, and once I am ready to take the Undead Scourge all the way to Nadtele, I will cut back. And there are our wages for this week. Okay, so here we are, ready to take the taxes for Senga Adintarquan. Okay, well, that is a name I won't be saying too much. <laughs> okay, so let us collect the taxes, and it will take one day by the looks of things. Okay, yes, ignore them and continue. I'm actually hoping that they might attack us, because that would actually provide us with quite a bit of experience. And there we are, I seem to have my wish right here. A large band of angry peasants is marching nearer, shouting about the exorbitant taxes and waving torches and weapons. I am not entirely sure whether it is wise to fight... Oh, yes, I remember this. I was hoping that we'd actually have our army versus the villagers, but it appears it is one of these encounters, where we are only equipped with staves, and it appears the peasants do only have six of them, so I think we should be fine. Let's hope, anyway. Let's rush this fellow. Yeah, take him down, and maybe we can take down the other stone thrower. There we are, thank you very much. And, yeah, use our reach to our advantage, thank you very much. Oh no. Come on. Take him down. Take him down. Thank you very much. And good work, Shadow. You did a good job there. Oh yes. Yes. Surely anyone with a mind to rebel against you will think better of it after this. That is exactly what I thought. I don't know why you would want to charge after a powerful necromancer with a huge amount of undead followers. And there we are. We have collected 3,153 dinars in taxes. And we just need to find this fellow now to let him know the good news. So let's actually just see what his name is again. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's actually just head to their town, I suppose, and hope that he is there. I did actually see a couple of dro vassals head off in this direction, so I'm not entirely sure whether anyone will be here, but let's hope. No. No one is here, but we might be able to go into the castle and talk to... Who is this? Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, yes. Lady Asola of Suno, everyone. Yeah, uh, yes. We have a history, me and her. That is for sure. Okay, well, we cannot ask her where the vassals are, unfortunately. And, oh no, the horde has awakened. The orcs have amassed an enormous army and are planning on plundering and conquering it all. Oh... That doesn't sound good, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, as you can see, we do actually have 48 in our army. That is mainly due to me spending a little bit of time and using our necromancy twice more after we cut away. And hopefully that will help us out to fight larger bandit parties. Mm. I am going to have quite the difficulty. Oh, no, there he is. Wow. 
That was good luck. Okay, I was actually going to say I'm going to have quite a bit of difficulty trying to find a drove vassal, that is for sure. So, yes, about the task you gave me, here are all the taxes. And he actually gives us 631 for our trouble, and he has gone to neutral relation with us now, which is good. Do you have any other tasks? Oh! Oh. I am not entirely sure about this, to be honest. Hmm, I actually would like to join them eventually, but not at the moment. Yes, thank you very much. What about another task? No, okay. Well, yes, I would really like to, but not just yet. I would really like to join either the Dro faction or the, well, let's just say the Del Tharson Empire, I suppose. <laughs> yes, them. The Undead and Dark Magic faction. I think that would probably be the most fun. So, yes, I would probably try to get a mercenary ship or some sort of vassalage with them. If that is indeed possible. I hope it is. So, yes, what I will be doing now is attempting to scour the land of the Saranids for a potential large bandit party. However, Seeing as I am 100% HP, we will be taking an action and using our necromancy skills to create more skeletons. Yes, that is going to be good. Okay, so let's try to speed this up a little bit. And... Uh, this is going to be a little tricky, isn't it? I would like to raid a village, actually, but I think it might be... Oh! Yes, I don't actually have any spotting skill, do I? Mm. Okay. Let us... Ah? Desert Bandits! Yes, we are going to run after those Desert Bandits. They are moving at 6.5 speed though, and we're moving at 4.9. <laughs> that is probably not going to happen, is it? Ah, uh, Just our luck, isn't it? Oh no! Okay, well, I will tell you what. I will be cutting away and... Oh my! There's actually an undead army around here somewhere, and these fellows are running away from it. As you can see here, oh no, undead army. It only has 65, but it has armored zombie warriors and armored skeleton warriors. I would really love to take these guys on, but unfortunately I don't think I am strong enough just yet. If I had, oh, drow surface raiders, I would like to take those guys on. Oh, actually, do they want to take me on? Not too sure. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's actually just take another action here. Use necromancy skills! No, we don't have enough! Ah, okay. Are they gonna follow us? Wait, they're moving at 5.2, I'm moving at 3.4. They could potentially catch up to us. That would be... maybe disastrous? They only have 28. However, the amounts and quality of our units may not actually be the best it can. So, yes, I'm just checking to see whether we leveled up in that last engagement. And, oh no, they are actually running from us. So, let us attempt... Okay. Ah. Okay, well, never mind. I will be cutting away, and once I have potentially caught up with these fellows, as we can see here, I will be cutting back, and hopefully we will be engaged in battle with them. Oh my goodness, well that took me quite some time to actually catch up to these fellows, but we are going to be taking them on, and they do have 28. We have 58, we should be okay. I am high in HP, but you never know, our zombies and skeletons might turn on us, and that would be terrible, of course. So let's just hope that 58 and numbers are enough to overcome our adversaries who are higher, I would think, in skill and potentially equipment as well. As you can see, our zombies are basically running around with little on apart from some shorts, and they're rather green. So let's hope one of them is the Incredible Hulk, and we'll be able to pull this off. Now, some of our enemies here are actually mages. No! Oh, dear. Yeah. This did not go well. This did not go well. However, we are going to be dying. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, never mind. This might actually go well. 
I don't really mind myself dying, but I mind actually being defeated. So let's just make sure that all of our fellows here are able to take them on. Ah, I see. I see what happened here. Our skeleton warriors, our shadows, and our zombie warriors were able to push through and actually kill all of our enemies. However, all of the regular skeletons and zombies were pretty much taken out before we could say hell of a loser. So, yes, we do need to watch out for that, I think. Two of our shadows were killed as well, but we did take all of them down. We don't have any prisoner management, which is probably going to be a mistake, but I mainly did it for the experience for myself, which is rather amusing considering I died immediately. But we do get some Dro leather armor, which makes us look really cool, which we are going to be using. And we may as well take some throwing daggers as well. Yes, that's fine, I think. There we go. Good. And that wooden shield is probably better. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So there we are. We're actually looking pretty cool now. And yes, there we go. We did actually advance to a level two. So that's not too bad, and I suppose I will continue along the same lines and be specking into intelligence, and thusly, I will be increasing our pathfinding, because I found it a little tricky to actually catch up to those dro units, and it would be rather nice to make sure that we can catch up and indeed run away from practically anyone, so let's hope that that will make the difference. So, I think dro initiates, yes, there we are, they make the mages, and we now have a shadow warrior as well, which is always good. Okay, so I am very low HP, of course, and we raised two zombies from the remains of our enemies. I was hoping that we would actually raise a lot more than that. I suppose if you fight a huge party of enemies, then you will be able to do just that. But as you could see, we did have 58, and we lost, well, let's just say quite a lot of units right there and we'll probably have to spend a little bit of time waiting at De Cuba and gaining an undead army suitable to carry on our adventures here. So I think you can probably tell what's going to happen next. I will be ending this episode off here and so next time on Fantasy Calradia we will, as I say, hope that we can gain an army suitable enough to take on practically any enemy, as we do have a rather large amount of party size. We should, in theory, be able to get a huge army capable of doing just that. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>